Hi everybody, fans of Stalking the Wild Auto Harp. This is Hal Weeks. I'm coming to you from the shop in the front of Daigle Auto Harps. Um, and I'm going to do a little short video here for you about tuning wrenches for Oscar Schmidt harps. Uh, you'll remember a few weeks ago I took you to the Folklore Center in Denver to show you the difference between an A model and B model Oscar Schmidt auto harp. This is going to be a video about the new style tuning pins and wrenches versus the old style tuning pin and wrenches. And you need to know because you can damage your instrument if you use the wrong kind of wrench. Coming up next week, I believe, um, I've got a video about tuning. And that's why I want to run this video by you first. So you can stay tuned for that. And uh, so let's get on to looking at these harps and their tuning pins and wrenches. Okay, folks, here we have two Oscar Schmidt auto harps. This is a newer one with the new pins, and this is an older one with the old style pins. Now, being able to see the difference is tricky, so I'm going to move in real closely and see if you can see the difference between these pins. You see how these are more square than these are at the top. These are more rounded and humped, and they just have a different shape to their taper. These always, to me, look chunky. And these sort of taper off at the top, and they're rounder and uh, somewhat longer. And you've got to have the right wrench. Let me talk to show you wrenches here. This is the kind of wrench that Oscar Schmidt provides with their newer harps. Sometimes the handle is different depending on um, the year of manufacture and how old they are. Um, but it's got a square hole in it that fits not all that well, actually, on the new pins. And uh, it's not very deep. And it never really, like, hunkers down on the pin. And it's always loose. Which is the problem. Because uh, it makes these pins not really work that well. And they're prone to um, getting kind of ravaged by the, um, the tuning wrench, actually. These old style pins, which by the way is the kind that all the luthiers still use on luthier harps, um, and the kind that you'll find on chroma harps, they will work with a square tuning wrench. Um, the older Oscar Schmidt tuning wrenches look much like this, but I think they have more of a of an actual L shape um, instead of being um, a bigger angle like that. They're more like 90 degrees. Um, but they go down further onto the pins. Um, you might have that kind. Or these are the kind that, uh, that we often recommend because they have a star hole and they go down quite a ways and they really hunker down on the pin. And they uh, won't um, strip out when you turn the wrench. This is a long handled tuning wrench. And it also has a star. And it hunkers down on the pin pretty well. And um, these are great because. These, you can do all kinds of uh, fine-tuning adjustments without the benefit of having fine-tuners on your harp down here. Um, so we recommend these two kinds for Oscar Schmidt auto harps uh, or chroma harps. Um, but 
if you have one of the newer harps, um, Pete says it's something like 10 years. Um, if you have one of the newer style harps with the new pins, you must use the wrench that they provide because it doesn't really see how much it wiggles. If you use this wrench on this harp, it will strip the corners off the, um, the pins eventually. And if you use these on this harp, see how much it wiggles? It will strip the corners off of the pins on this harp. This one wiggles too, but it fits. And obviously I can't show that but you can feel how it's fitting down there on the pins. So that's an important issue that you need to know about um, if you are looking at tuning wrenches for your harps. Okay, so there you have it. And what this really comes down to with these tuning wrenches is if you have a newer Oscar Schmidt that has the, um, the newer tuning wrench that fits loosely don't go bothering to try to get a nicer tuning wrench for your instrument that fits better because it's not really available and you could damage your instrument. So if you like this video, please like, subscribe, comment, and watch for my tuning video that comes, comes next time. Remember my Patreon where you can chip in a few bucks to keep this series going. And remember that there is a master index over on my website that lists all of the episodes of Stalking the Wild Auto Harp. Remember also that I teach online through Skype if you should want some private lessons. So until next time, I'm Hal Weeks. Thanks for watching Stalking the Wild Auto Harp. Bye-bye.